and the window comes down to about this point. Even with it like this, I can already start to feel the cool air start to come into it. What you have to do is turn the knob to the side. Okay. And now the window opens all the way. Oh, I this. To lock it. Hi everyone, you're welcome. My name is Bukumi Bicket Crow. So guys, I'm here again with another video. This time around, we're gonna be reacting to a video titled Gemma Houses versus American houses part one 10 major differences that is the differences between the German houses and the American houses so let's check it out if you're an American and you're thinking about moving to Germany I'm gonna share with you 10 differences between German houses and American houses nice what's up everybody I'm Steve Miguel and you're watching XP life now on this channel, I share with you new things that I learned and experience as it pertains to travel and different cultures. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. There's a lot of differences between German houses and American houses, but this video won't be all inclusive. I'm just gonna share with you 10 things that I feel are an important thing to know if you're considering moving to Germany. So the first major difference is actually not in the house at all. German houses are typically close together in a community. Okay. Since I've been here, I've never seen a house that was just off by itself. Mm. Compared to the US, it's very common for houses to be separated by oh, a kilometer or so, okay. especially in rural areas like in the South. The wow. second major difference is German houses tend to be built up. I've never seen a house that was only one floor. Mm. Uh, typically okay. it's at least two floors, the house that I live in is actually three floors versus in the US, it's very common to find houses that are only one, one floor. <laughs> the third major difference is the carport. For German houses, it's a common thing to have the carport separated from the house. Sometimes you'll have one like mine where it's just a cover. Um, oh. Other times you'll actually have one that you can close. Now this is different from the US where the garage is usually a major piece of the house and it's actually attached to the house. Um, it also serves as another point of entry into the house and typically they're made to fit one or two cars. So the fourth major difference between German houses and American houses are the doors. The only way to lock the doors in German houses are with the key. Another thing to note is that if you don't have your key when you go outside, you could potentially be locked out of the house. Uh. Because, as you can see, most doors don't have any kind of doorknob. So when you close it, it's, it's shut and you have to have a key in order to open it. The fifth major difference between German houses and American houses is the heating. In my house and in most German houses, you have radiators to heat the house up. And what's cool about these things is they're all throughout the house in every single room and you only heat the rooms that you are in. For example, I spend most of my time downstairs, so I mm. almost never turn on the ones on the second and third floor, including the bedroom because I like my bedroom cold. The sixth major difference Wow, I'm really learning a lot. Based on the fact that I'm an Africa and I'm a Nigerian, I don't really have an idea of all these things you say, and I'm learning a lot. It was really lovely to you know, learn new things about the, their door system, about their garage, about a lot of things. And wow, wow, wow. At least if I travel to Germany, all these things will be strange to me and when i go to usa these things will be strange to me so that's why it's good for once you even know watch some videos like this i'm so glad that i came across this particular video because i'm learning a lot yes because very soon you'll see me in your country germany and no usa so let's keep watching guys the sixth major difference between german houses and american houses are okay. the refrigerators in most German homes, your fridge won't oh. actually look like a fridge, but will look like a Is that ordinary a fridge? cabinet. It does not have a freezer, um, which is something that I think is pretty standard. Um, I've been in quite a few Ooh. German homes and I have yet to see a freezer. Typically, all refrigerators within American houses will also be a freezer. The seven Ooh, that's six parts really got 
neighbor to me like how can a refrigerator looks like a cabin like if i actually visit such person i'll be lost because i won't actually know there's that's a freezer even though i'm angry for instance somebody gives me his house key and i'm just getting there for the very first time i'm just landing in germany for the very first time and the person gave me the permission to take anything from the freezer or from the refrigerator i will go hungry because i, I won't even my mind will not even go there that should actually open that place i think maybe it's a cabinet for you know keeping spoons or something and it looks so unique and it looks so nice like ah that was beautiful i really love that part wow 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 germany and you know normally usa that's how they are free you know, they always have this big freeze freezer that it has segments for you to keep different foods into it wow let's keep watching guys the seventh major difference between german houses and american houses is that german houses don't have closets so oh. most of the time you have to buy something like a wardrobe in order okay. to store your clothes in american yeah. houses every single bedroom will have a closet for you to put wow. your clothes in nice so the eighth one. major difference between german houses and american houses are the windows the first thing i want to point out about the windows are the rollatins rollatins are these metal or plastic ah. shutters that you can let either up or down uh, depending on what you want to do nice the second thing i want to point out about the windows is that there are two different ways that you can open them. If you don't want to open the window all the way up so that you don't have to deal with bugs and potentially bugs, birds yeah, flying yeah, yeah. in, all yeah. you have to do is turn the knob all the way up and the window comes down to about this point. Even with it like this, I can already start to feel the cool air start to come into the room. Okay. But if you want to completely air out the room, the window actually comes all the way open. And all you have to do is Turn the knob to the side. Okay. And now the window opens oh, all the way. Oh, I did this. To lock it. Go back it down. Now there's oh. no standard window for American homes. American but one of the things that really comes in handy that you find in the US but won't find in Germany are screens. Typically in America, windows will come with screens in order to keep the bugs out if you want to open it up. The ninth okay. major difference between German houses and American houses are the ceilings. Looking at German houses mm -hmm. from the outside, they tend to have very steep chimneys. Eh? They tend to have very steep chimneys. Eh? Steep roofs. Um, and you actually see that when you go into the house. So you definitely want to take this into consideration when you think about, master bedroom uh, the different look types like of furniture this. that you want to buy or oh. move over here. The last major difference between German houses and American houses are the bathrooms, mm. um, specifically the toilet and the tubs. Uh, the thing that I want to, a couple of things I want to point out about the toilet, if you'll notice, it does not have a um, back tank to it that is visible or um, accessible. Yeah. Also, uh, it doesn't go into the floor. Yeah. And typically what you'll find in American houses is you, the toilet will be uh, mounted onto the floor, floor. Um, and it'll have a Maybe. water tank in the tank. back. Another thing I want to point out about the toilet is that German toilets don't have a lot of water in the bowl. Mm. Um, well, how do you sit the, on this and the hole is it should not break? Far in the, like, I'm still in the back, imagining it. You have like, like all this flat space uh, in the toilet. Super. So you have to do a really good job aiming, or you're going to have to use the brush to, to clean it. Um, okay. Also, with German toilets, um, they do a really good job flushing compared to American toilets. Uh, the toilets in America, when you flush them, unless you're in a, a public restroom, when you flush them, they tend to do, um, Mess they up. do this swirl. The okay. water comes in and it does this swirling motion um, it, to drain out. But with German toilets, when you flush it, okay. it just does that. Okay. And I've never had a problem with anything uh, not going Sting. down in German toilets. As I said, the tubs are different as well. They tend to have these shower nozzles shower. attached to them. 
But as you can see, there is no shower curtain oh. or anything to stop the water from getting onto the floor. That is because the shower is actually over here. Question of the day. What are some things that you liked about German houses that you would like to incorporate into your own? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah, Don't forget yeah, yeah. to like, share, and subscribe, as well as check out my other videos. Wow, 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 wow. I really learned a lot about the window aspects, you know, in German. It seems the German houses are more classic to me, oh, to me, than US houses because there are a lot of things that look so uniquely made in German houses than American houses. Especially the um, WC, the toilet seats. I was surprised to know that German, German houses, the toilet seat is not mounted to the floor. Like, how will you actually sit on that toilet seat and it won't break? That's what really came to my mind that, is it, is it possible for you to sit down? If I should sit on that kind of toilet seat, I would be scared that would this thing actually break or what it ah? I'm not using my yeah, should I sit down well. There's no way I can sit down well with that kind of toilet seat, but it looks so unique. I love the way they you know did that and they, they are closer to Germany houses don't have wardrobes. America houses have built wardrobes in their most of their homes. Wow, I really enjoyed watching this. At least I learned a lot about Germany houses and American houses, and to me, ah. Jammy houses are so too short compared to American houses. There are a lot of things that that made me fall in love with Jamie houses when he was giving his explanation compared to American houses. So talking about the refrigerator, talking about the garage. The only thing I don't really like about Jamie houses is the fact that it's always too choked up. Every house is is in within a community. But it was really, really fun learning this, you know, differences. And woo, at least when I travel to these countries. It will look strange to me because yes, I've gotten to see it myself. It's just for me to go and experience it over there. Yes, and I'm coming over there. <laughs> so guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button if you've not done so. I'll see you guys in my next video. Catch you.